Trevor Mallard, Speaker of the House of Representatives, and I took a team of presiding officers and other members to Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands recently. I thought it was important to get to know parliamentarians from there uh, and also to understand how our aid projects were going. What we saw in the Solomons was the impact that um, MFAT is having, you know, over there, the, the work that they're doing with mm -hmm. the local communities to identify what their needs and, and wants are and where we can support. So we saw that um, in the health system, we also saw it in education when we visited their schools. The first one was in Malay Village and to see kids and being taught in their intense and big marquees was actually quite chilling after Cyclone Pam and I know that we're looking to to help with that now that we've seen that so we're looking at uh, raising some funds here in Parliament. I think too you know as part of the wider Pacific we've got regional responsibility in the issues that were raised particularly around climate change and I think we've got an opportunity to support them but I certainly learned an awful lot about their resilience. So the people that work for us in MFAT and represent New Zealand do a fantastic mm. job. Mm. Uh, it is money well spent and we've seen mm. it, it makes a tremendous difference mm. to those people's lives. Probably the highlight for me was going to the Fred Hollows Eye Centre where I think six million dollars of New Zealand money went into building this state-of-the-art complex which um, had its own solar system, its own water supply and there was literally hundreds of people um, going through that place that are getting their eyesight back. In Vanuatu, uh, when we went to Mele Village, it was a real eye-opener for me. The benefit that those workers get from coming to work here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And we, we were able to see the very concrete examples, literally concrete, when they built the base of their house, they built their house by hand, including making the blocks, the concrete blocks. And, and I guess out of that was that one particular man that showed us his house mm -hmm. that was, uh, to all intents and purposes, a modern home with kitchen and running water and everything else. And then he showed us 10 years before what used to be his home and the, the difference in, for their life. Yeah, I think for me what that really showed is that the scheme is mutually beneficial. We have 2,000 Avanaratans come into the Bay of Plenty to pick kiwi fruit. But to see the difference that it made for them, that educate their children. I was really taken by the students that had spent time in New Zealand. Yes. And the very first pharmacist in Solomon Islands. Yes. That was, that's just yes. amazing. Um, and then what he has subsequently gone on to do. I think that's, as, as New Zealanders, something we can be really proud of, that we are supporting mm. the tertiary education um, of some mm. very talented young people whose opportunities are exponential as Excellent. a result of um, their studies in New Zealand. <laughs> main purpose as Speaker uh, was to have links between our parliaments. The Pacific parliaments, uh, especially those in Melanesia, are evolving. They're actually evolving quite quickly, but their starting point is a bit behind ours. They're not as representative. They tend to have a lot more older men in them. Women are not well represented in those parliaments, and that's a, of great concern. And yet those alumni that we met, some of the most impressive, were young women. And we saw them in different leadership uh, roles in business. They're just not managing to, to get through the political system. And it was noted that, you know, over half of our delegation were female. Um, you know, there I was with my, my young family and breastfeeding my baby, you know, um, a current member of parliament. That message came through loud and clear that they really appreciated other women being there to share their experiences. One of the other uh, highlights for me was the ability to meet with family planning, to really look at young women's reproductive of health and the services that are available. I must say I was um, pleased, I was surprised mm. at how advanced they were with some of it, which is really mm. great. In the Solomon Islands we went into a school and there's this one empty building and saying what is that building? They said that's the library but there were no books in it. We spoke to people that were there that were in part of the construction industry who have containers going out from New Zealand and said if we can get the books to them then we can send them out in their containers and so I've already started in Tauranga but I'm going to bring that back to Parliament so that we can try and get some of the other parliamentarians to help collect books in the areas. I'm really proud actually of our country and the resilience of the people in both Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands. They live in such a beautiful, we think our country is beautiful but 
Wow, we saw um, some amazing, yeah. amazing places. Having the discussions, making the contacts, and meeting some of the people who are going to be leaders in the future, I think was very useful. Oh!